Okay, so we put the ring in the um, the Bridgeport vise, but of course the vise is only, what, about an inch tall, and so that's not going to give us enough room to hold and support this whole ring. So what I did is I came in with a piece of 3 8 uh, stainless steel, actually, from the, from the uh, uh, corporate sign job. I had a little piece of scrap, and put that in with it, and then... Uh, put a couple of C-clamps on here to really sol make this part here fairly solid. Then I'm not going to take too much off of there, but uh, if it wasn't there, this thing would be wiggling all over the place. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, and start uh, the uh, bridge port. Excellent. Now we can just kind of drop down on top of that, lock our... Uh, lock our uh, our quill so that uh, it doesn't jump down and then we'll just bring the table up to it. And oh, another pass or two and I think we'll have it. As I said, we're not going to be taking much off of here. Okay, one more. And since I'm down to a flat there, I think what I'll do is set the DRO. And, uh, and then I'll know where zero is. And when I bring the next one in, I can bring that flat to the same height, and that'll be good. All right, we're going to click zero in. Let's take this one out. Uh, got a little bit of a lump right here. I think I need to file that off. Get it flattened out just a little bit so they've got a nice flat surface on that edge there. Drop my piece in. Get it squared up. Tighten her up. Bring in the C-clamps, crank those down, and start this thing back up. And I'm thinking we could just... Get a little bit more uh, oil on it. And I'm betting that we're almost there. Now it looks like my DRO says that we're We've dropped 10,000, so I'm going to take it up a little bit more. Okay, a little bit more. 
uh, these rings were made on a uh, on a bender over here, and uh, it's not always as accurate as it can be. That's better. That's going to give us what we want. Okay, so now I'm going to come in and reset this up and just drill a hole straight through the center of that. First, I've got to figure out where center is, uh, and that's not a problem. We just set the wiggler up and do that, and then uh, drill the hole, and then put the other one in and drill that hole, too. So, let's see. Ooh, geez, we're all, out all the way here. Okay. All right, let's find the wiggler. And it really doesn't have to be that accurate, but I like being accurate, so I'll do it. Drop it down, crank it up. Bring it in until it kicks. There it is. And let's go ahead and find zero. Bring it back in until it kicks. Actually, you know what? Let's move it away from the, there we go. Kick right on zero. So then can't remember what my wiggler is. Uh, I just got it. New size. I believe it's a hundred. Two hundred thousandths. So half of that would be a hundred. So we're going to move toward the center toward, for a hundred. Hmm. Well, we're out to the edge here. Let's bring the whole thing in. And then bring the head in. That's all we can do. Bring it back. There we go. Now we got plenty of room. Okay, set the wiggler up again because, of course, now we're in a whole different space. Drop it down, bring it in. Move it in until it kicks. Come on. There it is. Find zero. Good 
get rid of the wiggler. Then, now the wiggler is 200,000, so we're going to come in 100. There's 100. Put the drill chuck back in. Of course, now we can't get to it, but we haven't done this side yet, so we can slip it out there. Okay. Bring it down. Let's see if we can get that drill chuck in now. Almost. There we go. Okay. Ouch. Go right to the edge. Go to this edge. And we're a little bit off, but not much. Let's say there is a good place. And we're going to go ahead and drop a just a little bit of a center drill down the center there and then uh, come in with a drill so we can go all the way through. Take it right on down through. That's good. Set to go. All right. So now we take those little uh, those little plugs that I talked about, and uh, we're going to weld them. And I, we may braze them. I'm not sure yet. Um, to each to uh, the rings, so that the rings are parallel with each other. And uh, oh, we got to come in here and knock out that just a little bit and get ourselves a a uh, see the burr right there and i think what we'll do is come in with uh, just a regular hand drill and zip that out okay so what we're going to do is we're going to take an extra long drill bit and that way nothing gets in the way and just come in here and kind of clean up that edge get a better grip there Alright, flip it around because it doesn't want to work from that edge. 